What's up everybody? We're out here again. Um, we're up the river. A little bit different scenery for fishing, at least on this channel. We're just targeting channels today. We've got some dip bait that I haven't used in a while. So we're going to target channels with that and then just see how well we do. The old man showed me this fishing spot. Dude could fish his butt off. So we're going to give this a shot and we'll see what we can produce. The water's a little low as you can see. You can see where the water used to be. And then normally when the water is up, this is a really good spot because there's a mulberry tree and the mulberries fall right here. So he kind of told me to look out for mulberry trees along the riverside. So that's a little helpful hint for anybody. But let me show you a little bit and then we'll get rigged up and get out there. Also, like I said before, we're, we're doing t-shirts now, so the pure catfish right here. And on the back we have, and on the back is a fisherman's prayer. Uh, I kind of like it. I like to put God first in my life. I'm not going to like force my religion or anything on you guys, but it's a, it's a idea for anyone who kind of likes that. We have, we have other designs as well. I just haven't worn them yet. Um, I'll probably take some pictures and flash them on the screen up here so you guys can kind of see and then you guys give me some feedback on which designs you like more over the other designs. Maybe the next couple weeks or so we can start getting some built up on those designs that you guys like and then maybe we can start selling them to you guys if you guys want one. But let's get set up and let's get fishing. Okay, so the bait we're using today, one of the two, this one right here is Sudden Impact from Team Catfish. When I used to target just channel specifically I used to like live and die by this stuff like if this did not get bit then I I just assumed that there was nothing in the area so this is uh, one of the two baits we're going to use the other one is secret seven so we can, I guess we can kind of do a comparison between the two today you know there's plenty of videos on these on YouTube so either way this is one of the baits we're using this had an impact it's a fiber bait then all I'm doing is just dipping it in there moving it around, just trying to just get it all covered up. And then pull it out. And then you have a nice chunk of bait on there, so. This is what it looks like. We're just gonna throw it out over here, try to let it, let that sink go into that brush pile. And here's the other one. This is the Seeker 7, also from Team Catfish. This one's just like your traditional dip bait, it's not a fiber. So it doesn't stay on the hook as well as the Sudden Impact, which is why I kind of like that one over this one. But I've caught fish on this one just as much as I caught fish on that one. So we're gonna switch up this rod over here to uh, the dip tube that you guys seen, and then throw this one out there. So this is the dip tube we're using. I normally like using the red color dip tube. I don't know why, but I feel like I've had better luck with that. And so then we're just using the improved clinch knot. All right, that's what that one looks like. We're gonna throw this one out just a little bit deeper. See if there's anything more in the center. My line just snapped. 
Oh, that sucks. Went to set the hook and just snapped. Oh! Well, we got one here, though. Target a species, got a channel. Alright, calm down. I have to leave me the hook out of you. Wait very long. I really just turn the camera off and then turn it right back on. This one's a little bit better one. Oh, he's all muddy now. All right, that is a nice eater-sized channel. Really long, really skinny, but a nice channel nonetheless. And this one. This one came on sudden impact, so chalk one up for sudden impact. Or is that, is that two on sudden impact? I feel like that's two on sudden impact right now. I can't remember. But yeah, there we go. Nice channel. Throw them back. Okay, I've been getting dink tapped by this small little channel for like the past five minutes, so we're just gonna pull this away from him. And we're gonna try over here for a little bit. Yes, I know it's not the best idea as far as fishing on the opposite side of this brush pile, but I don't know. There might be some fish here that we're just not seeing that we might be able to get into. And I don't think there's any more big ones down there. I probably either missed them because I did miss a few today. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know if it'll make the video, but either way, I missed a few. Give him that Bassmaster hook set right there. All right, where my pliers go? I think my bucket. Oh, right here. All right, little channel. Talking that stuff again, I see. Caught another one. Like I said, guys, this is this bay here is just to me is really good as far as locating channels go. But yeah. Throw him back. Oh, he didn't make it. <laughs> there you go, he found his way. All right, we just keep getting a bunch of little small dink taps. Nothing's really committing to it. Right here, there's a small little tap, tap, tap. This one just keeps bouncing up and down. So I think what we're gonna do is, we're gonna pack up, we're gonna change locations. I know there's another spot down there, upriver, we can get to. And there's a few more spots uh, we can try for sure. All right, guys, we're about 100 yards or so down from that spot. We're at another spot, kind of shallow here. It kind of gets deeper right here. Uh, but we're going to fish this bank right here, bank line. And then we're going to see if there's anything sitting here. Try to pull some more out. Oh, Why aren't you reeling correct? Reeling a little. Well, he kind of surprised me on that hit. Didn't really expect him to hit it like that after those little few taps he was just doing with it. That one might be a goner too. But we're gonna try to get him out, but nice eater, eater size channel. I'm not the best at getting hooks out the fish that deep. So instead of trying to do him, do him a favor and get that hook out, I'm gonna do less damage probably just by letting him go. 
But hey, that's another fish. All right, well, I was about to leave this spot, honestly, until that happened. So we're gonna give this a little bit longer. There we go. My other line. This one a bit quick, guys. Another good size little eater channel. But we got another nice channel, guys. Good eater size. Either way, nice fish. We're gonna let them go. All right, nice fish. Let them go. This is what I mean, guys. When I said these hooks are so just bad quality, such a bad quality hook. They just bend so easily. And it's so annoying. If you guys have any recommendations on, hopefully not to fall in the water, but hooks with like bit bait hooks, please let me know in the comments so I can get a better quality. I mean, I don't really fish like this style as much anymore, but if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Cause these are just not it. Another nice channel guys, another nice one, not too bad, alright, mouth can be a little bloody but he'll be alright, another nice one guys, good eater size. This is such an easy way to get channel catfish in my opinion, I don't know what it is but they seem to love this stuff. There's this first little bush, small bush. And there's another big piling with some other big piling behind it. Right now I'm just aiming at the first one, kind of about four or five feet to the right of it. And that's where I've been getting these fish. Well guys, we uh, did pretty good today. I uh, caught like six or seven channel cuts, something like that. Not really sure. Um, but this is a real easy way of catching channel catfish in a river. Uh, it worked really well at lakes too. Just get you some dip bait. I got Team Catfish and uh, Sudden Impact and Secret 7 with me. The bait that produced the most was Sudden Impact for me, and I personally favor that one over Secret 7. Both produce fish, but I think Sudden Impact just produces a little more easier. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. It really helps out the channel. If you're new here and you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button so you can see more. Uh, turn on post notifications that way you guys know whenever I upload. Uh, and again, let me know what you guys feel about the sh this shirt and, and the other shirts I've shown to you. If you stayed this long to the end of the video i really appreciate it it means a lot guys it really does uh, but until next time guys catch you later